गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द टॉपिक एलोट्रोपिज्म एंड कैटिनेशन दिस टू आर द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स व्हिच कीप्स दिस चैप्टर और द कार्बन कंपाउंड एट इंटायरली डिफरेंट फुटिंग्स देन द कंपाउंड फॉर्म बाय ऑल द अदर रिमेनिंग एलिमेंट मींस दिस कैटिनेशन and tetravalency that we had already discussed basically this catenation and trop and tetravalency is that kind of properties because of which the number of compound formed by this carbon alone is much more than total number of compound possible by considering all the other element okay so this tetravalency catenation and this allotropism these are very important property so we will start with allotropism tetravalency we had already finished and considering the tetravalency how the compounds structural formula are drawn those thing we have also discussed now catenation we will learn today but first we will start with the allotropes or allotropism so let's start what is this allotropes or allotropism a student allotropes and allotropism means nearly the same thing it is the same thing which is spoken in different reference so allotropes simply means existing in double role or existing in more than one form it is like that say in many film you are observing the same hero is existing in more than one role then you can say that hero is in the form of allotropes so how this is in our carbon or how this is in chemistry then it is found that certain elements are existing in different form means chemically they are same but physically they appear in different form so these two or more different forms are called allotropes and the phenomena of existence of an element in more than one form is called allotropism so allotropism is the phenomena and allotropes means each of the constituent or different forms that exist example this carbon exist in two important allotropic forms means carbon exist in two different form chemically they are carbon but different forms are given different name we are knowing the graphite and other the diamond see graphite appear as very soft and used for writing but the diamond which is very hard and used for cutting the glass means the same carbon in existing in different different form one is graphite which is soft another is very hard diamond there is another form also called fluorine that we will also learn so the phenomena of existence of the carbon in different forms having different properties means different physical properties are called as allotropies but chemically all these different forms are same whether you consider the graphite or diamond or fluorine all contain carbon only these carbon atoms are arranged in different form so this phenomena of existence of an element in different forms is called allotropism and the different form that exist are called allotropes of each other like graphite is allotrope of diamond 
graphite is allotrope of fluorine fluorine is allotropes of diamond or graphite means all these three are allotropes of each other so right before writing the formal definition let us first take the example say the carbon which is denoted by c so it may exist as your graphite or diamond or the fluorine that we will load but fluorine is not that much common so fluorine okay so these three form so these are the three different form of carbon so all are carbon all are carbon means all are carbon means what chemically they consist of the same thing or same substance so chemically they are same means same chemical properties chemically same that is same chemical properties but if we consider this graphite then graphite appears as soft and used in pencil if we consider this diamond then diamond is very hard and use as cutting tools cutting tools if we consider this fluorine fluorine also means the aspherical shaped ball or football structure football like a spear so it is a spear means fixed number of the carbon atom have club together to give a specific shape okay it is this one so what we are observing they appear different means physically they exist in different form means these three means graphite diamond and fluorine are though all are carbon but they have different physical properties so right different physical properties means they are physically different so such a phenomena of existence of an element or the same element here we are observing it is the carbon so carbon is the same but whether we are taking this graphite or diamond or fluorine chemically they are same but physically they are different so different in one respect but same in some other respect so this phenomena is called as allotropism and these three graphite diamond and fluorine these three are called as allotrope of each other so this graphite diamond and then fluorine fluorine so these three are allotropes of each other allo tropes of each other means they are allotropes for each other 
student keep in mind it is their physical property which is different do not think it is same as the isotopes no isotope have different characteristic they have different number of neutrons in their nucleus so they are different thing for the same element but here the same kind of atom they have rearranged so they are allotropes of each other and this phenomena means this existence property means this phenomena which can exist for any of the atom so this phenomena is called as allotropism and this phenomena is called allotropies hello tropism okay so the term allotropes and allotropism have minor differences in their name it is just a reference that we are taking sorry a student just wait a minute the tab was running low okay so this phenomena is called allotropism this we have to keep in mind so what is this allotropes what is this allotropism and what are the characteristic difference between these allotropes means what is difference between graphite and diamond those things we have to learn so write down the definition of allotropes so rather than writing a different heading i shall continue to write so write allotropes or allotropism the phenomena of existence of an element in different forms having same chemical composition or same chemical property is called allotropism or allotropes so right the phenomena of of existence of an element in different forms here we have to keep in mind means the same element have to exist in different form okay in nature having different physical properties but same chemical properties having different physical properties but same chemical property chemical properties so this phenomena of existence of the same element which are having i mean in different forms which are having different physical properties but chemically they are same means having the same chemical properties 
are called as allotropism or allotropes is called as allotropism and the different forms the different forms are allotropes of each other so this is what we mean by allotropes and allotropism so allotropism is the property and allotropes means one is allotrope for the other or sometimes this phenomena itself also called as the allotropes okay now rather than allotropism if allotropes itself is also asked then still you have to write the same definition whether allotropism is asked or allotropes is asked you have to write the same definition so example though i had explained here so our example is carbon which exist in three different form chemically all are carbon I mean they have the same chemical properties but they have different appearances so they have different physical properties so these two things are very important so we have to learn about what is graphite what is diamond how they are differ from each other so definition is only this much let us take the example example let us take the first example say for the carbon exist in three different form forms what they are first one is your graphite the second one is your diamond and the third one is our fluorine or fluorine so these three are allotropes of each other so these are the allotropes of carbon all are carbon means they have the same chemical composition means same chemical properties means all are carbon whether you burn this graphite or whether you burn the diamond or whether you burn the fluorine you will get the carbon dioxide only chemically they are the same but their burning may occur at different temperature like your melting point boiling point that we have learned so that flash temperature means the burning temperature is different but chemically they are same they will produce the same compound but they have the same sir. yes tell me sir is coal uh, allotrop pardon sir is coal yes, yes, allotrop of very first day i has also told you this coal and charcoals are also the allotropes do not think only these three are the allotropes because coal charcoal are also the other form of carbon that i had explained the very first day but these are the most common okay three so carbon exist in three important form 
थ्री मीन दिस थ्री आर ओनली द इम्पोर्टेंट वन दैट्स वाई वी आर डिस्कसिंग सो यू मे ऑल्सो राइट हेयर दिस कोल एंड चार कोल आर ऑल्सो एलोट्रॉप्स बिकॉज दे आर ऑल्सो द कार्बन अनलेस और अंटिल देर इज सम कंपाउंड if it is the carbon then it is the allotrope but these three are the most common graphite diamond and fluorine are most common in three different forms so it doesn't mean only three these are most common only you may add it here most common or what are the most common allotropes of sorry what are the most common allotrope of carbon if that one is asked then you just say graphite and diamond are the most common allotrope of carbon okay even nowadays fluorine is also included in the syllabus of each and every board or whether cbse or a state board so nowadays fluorine is also considered as the common one but earlier days only this graphite and diamond were considered as most common coal charcoal are also the allotropes so we have to learn about the difference between this graphite and diamond so what they are graphite and diamond so these two are even most common than even the fluorine also so what are the differences between them those thing i am going to explain so student on one side we will write this graphite and on the other side i will write the diamond both we will learn together point by point A student, chemically both are carbon. What is the symbol for graphite? It will be C. What is the symbol for diamond? It is the C. Means chemically both are same. So chemically, it is carbon. It is also carbon. means both are same c but what makes difference if they are same chemically then what makes difference we have learned about the concept of bonding so if the bonding is there that give rise to different kind of compound in the similar fashion here this carbon is bonded with the other carbon do not think this carbon is going to bond with the other element like hydrogen nitrogen no so here this carbon means one carbon atom get bonded with three other carbon atom but this bonding is such that keep in mind one carbon atom all right a carbon atom get bonded with three other carbon atom so this bonding is such that that it forms hexagonal planar ring hexagonal planar ring like structure 
like a structure okay student see how is this please understand here we have to keep in mind though carbon have valency 4 so if we consider this is the carbon i am denoting it by this symbol only this one or let me write this c itself provide the confusion if we consider a carbon though the carbon have total four valence electron though it have four valence electron but it is found that on the certain condition this carbon is going to bond with another carbon by sharing only the three electron with the other carbon now means for the central carbon i had considered i have considered this one the central carbon in this case we are observing that one of the electron this electron is still left unbonded so you may write this is unbonded electron so unbonded electron is called as free electron this is very important the same is also true for the other carbon the student let us draw the other carbon for other carbon let me draw the structure like this so this also have the four the other one also have the four get it considering for this carbon now i am considering this carbon this carbon will also get bonded with three other carbons so understand this carefully you can understand the structure and the topic will be permanently yours otherwise you will just read the statement you can never understand from the text so now the take any other carbon and bond it with the three other carbon but the bonding structure is such that it will form the hexagonal ring so another carbon so considering that we are bonding it like this say the three bonds are formed by the second carbon under consideration are we getting so we may here we are focusing over this carbon so even for this carbon here we have also observed this remain unbonded and it is acting as the free electron okay student so we have understood free electron exist in graphite form of the carbon we will draw the structure of diamond but later now this process continue because any matter not just consist of one or two atom but million and billions of atoms are there so you have to continue with this process so let us come to the bottom one how is this Sorry. structure yeah tell me for this so carbon why double bond is not formed pardon sir so double bond is not formed why huh, the situation is that the condition under which this is formed that itself is different it is not the double bond formation with the carbon it is not a chemical reaction rather there is a structural combination or a structural arrangement of atom say you are placing large amount of say chalk powder you are just placing anywhere it will just remain as a powder but if you place that powder inside a high pressure means put it in a packet and put a thousand kg weight over it you will observe all the chalk powder will get stuck with each other to form a single cake like a structure so this diamond and graphite are formed under different physical condition and different 
because of this different physical condition like high pressure and high temperature they have evolved a different physical structure so that's why it is not a normal chemical reaction so this graphite is not formed by any chemical reaction in our laboratory okay so that's why it is not the double bond or it is not a double bond formation or not the bonding we are doing how is the structure that we are explaining even these structure these things are very first determined by experiment those things we are learning but for explaining that we are going step by step okay so these carbon and carbon do not form the double bond if you are just why not that you will, that you will understand later i will explain that one also so coming to the third carbon here i also need to form three bonds so form the three bonds the structure should be hexagonal that we also need to keep in mind while drawing these structures therefore considering that i am putting this carbon atom at certain positions one so this is the third one again one free electron get it so it is this one now the same thing we have to continue and we have to close the ring observe it carefully the next carbon if you consider the next carbon is here somewhere it also have the three this also have the three bonds and one free electron this also have the three bonds and one free electron a student now the next carbon carbon under our consideration is this one for this i am going to make so this will join with this one the new carbon or the other carbon now consider for this carbon here again it have the three bond that we have to form so form it take this this three so this will join with this one this is the structure okay here we are observing a closed hexagonal ring is formed that's why i have written planar hexagonal ring is formed are you getting so this way we have to understand this in more detail the same also hold good for the other how is that let us draw few more so for that i am drawing or completing the structure a bit more faster it will combine with this it will draw the structure like this okay it it also have the three one so it will combine or it will go like this then this will go like this this will come like this means for this one it will be like this like this the one of the electron will be free so that just i am drawing keeping one of the electron only here it is like this one the other one the same thing come here come here combine it here combine it here so large number of hexagonal rings are formed if you want to go for the left hand side let me clean it so that it will appear better to you so complete this how that very easy take two more bond so while drawing the structure you have to use this technique draw hexagonal one already drawn another c okay take another c link it with this one so this way we are getting always a hexagonal structure is formed take another link with this one are we getting like this so this way means even this will continue it is not going to end here but this will continue further this will continue further so you can leave it only few of them we have drawn so only the three bonds you have to draw the fourth one will always be free for each and every carbon 
so this hexagonal structure is planar in nature getting so it is like a seat now it is found that this hexagonal structure exists in layer form means one hexagonal structure will form below that another hexagonal structure will form means below that without combination the other hexagonal structure like this will form the other layer okay so it is like this are we getting so this is the other layer it will continue like this it is not going to end here can we draw here four one two three four bond this bond we shall not draw okay so just while drawing the three it should be kept over this see or if you want to make one more you may make it here this see this so always hexagonal structure you have to draw so such hexagonal structure are present in the form of seats now say one hexagonal seat is formed this another hexagonal seat will form above this another 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 above this so likewise just a layer of hexagonal structure is formed okay hexagonal plane ring is formed in as one seat so one seat over another now these two seats there is force of attraction though these force of attraction are very weak in comparison to their bond so this is means you may write here it is layer 1 and this is your layer 2 this is the attraction force it is called as the van der waal force more detail is not required at your level so i am not discussing that much so one layer over another one layer over another so they are also attracted by weak force so hold by not very strong so we are writing the weak force of van der waal ye van der waal yadi aapko term yaad nahi rehte hain you can leave it so just you keep in mind they are held by weak force means if one layer is rough or if we want to peel out the one layer that can be easily peeled out it is because of this layer form we are observing that if we are taking our pencil and putting it over the paper and we are writing one of the layer get detached and that is stuck with the paper so because of this layer the graphite is able to write over the paper getting so it is this one so entire layer get stuck over the paper so layer by layer they are getting stuck now this layer do not think it is very big layer or sheet like cloth or your paper no because these are the layer or these are the arrangement of atoms even you are knowing that if you are taking lakhs of atoms stacking one over another then hardly you will get the thickness of the paper so even this contain the thousands of carbon which are present in one layer then another thousand present in other layer so while you are writing one of the layer get detached and that is stuck with the paper so this layer form help in making the pencil also help in using as the carbon brush that we have learned in our chapter of magnetic effect of current where carbon brush is used why carbon itself is acting as the lubricate the lubricating or self lubricating material 
because one layer when rubbed by the another the layer just get removed and the spring loaded layer means spring loaded graphite or carbon means it will again get pushed over the sac so it will continuously means the brush will continuously rub and layer will be removed so it will not put any a scratch over the rotating shaft so these are the advantages of the graphite so first we have to understand this structure and after this structure we will write all the conclusions so a student chemically it is the carbon but here one carbon is attached with the three other carbon in a such a manner that they are forming the planar ring like structure which is layered means this layer or this structure form a layer over the another to give their three dimensional structure get layered to give 3d structure okay so the structure of graphite is what planar that you have to keep in mind if anyone is asking to you what is the structure of graphite so just one layer is forming the one structure of graphite so one layer it is just the structure of graphite this we have to keep in mind so question is asked what is the structure of graphite so graphite is planar keep in mind planar ring so a structure of graphite is planar means it is simply is let us finish it planar this we have to keep in mind so structure wise the graphite is plane it is one thing though one plane or one structure is over the another by weak force of attraction and they are able to slip over one another that's why it is acting as this self lubricant it is one thing means regarding the pencil i have explained now coming to these free electrons A student another important thing or another important characteristic arises is because of these free electrons a student each carbon have one free electron means if we connect the two end of this layer or this material by or through a potential difference then these electrons are able to move from one carbon to another means this graphite can conduct so these free electrons help in conduction so these are the free electrons so because of this free electrons it become a good conductor so graphite is a good conductor ready and because of this layering it is used as pencil or used in pencil and carbon brushes and lubrication so these are the three important thing that we have to keep in mind very first the structure is planar hexagonal the next one is these hexagonal planar structure are stacked one over another in layer form one layer can slip over the another the third thing the free electron because of which it can conduct electricity means both heat and electricity so these three are very important properties of graphite which makes it different from the diamond so those things we will see later so let us numerate it a student if any student have any doubt then please ask otherwise i had explained this 
how it is drawn in your book you may see like this the structure is also there in your book in book it is drawn like this see whatever the first figure like this it is representing our graphite okay so let me continue on next page so everything is also drawn here but i had explained rather than just taking this figure here these are carbon atom c atom bonded with so bonded with how many other carbon with three other carbon atom this implies fourth electron remains free this implies graphite have free electron have free electrons so because of this free electrons it can conduct what it can conduct both heat and electricity a student conduct electricity and heat okay it is this one so it is regarding the carbon here the fourth electron is not shown but let me so it it is our free electron so this fourth electron is our free it is like this one so these are the three bonds where are the three bonds if you are considering the carbon at center you can get say the one the two the three these are the three bonds for similarly even for the end one it is not shown here but the end one also have their third bond it is not shown anywhere but surely it has okay students so it is like this one it is like this one. so this way it can conduct electricity that we have written the next one is this is what a student here again observe it carefully it is forming one layer it is the other layer so this is these are the different layers and between this layer there is weak force of attraction we can write like this these are different layers layers which can slip over each other so these layer are very weak so because of their weak force of attraction between different layer they can slip over each other each other and get detached so it acts as lubricant lubricant is what something which will get detached and get stuck with the other material that is the purpose of lubrication make the contact smooth so act as lubricant used in pencil for writing used as carbon brush carbon brush where 
in our generator and motors that we have learned generator and motors so this is the another important characteristic now coming to the third one what is the third one student our third one is this one means one layer over the another coming to this one it is this one or you may extend this to this one also okay so this is what weak force weak force because of this weak force between layers so because of this weak force this property is occurring okay so it is all about this so i have written everything let me now write each and everything point wise what is their use and what are their application a student any doubt in this figure then please ask otherwise i am going to write everything point wise right here each c atom bonded to three other c atom okay it is one thing it is means the structure is structure is planar it is basically the hexagonal planar structure the complete term is like this one use hexagonal ring planar structure so it is this hexagonal ring planar structure that we have to keep in mind the complete the statement is like this then right fourth free electron max graphite a good conductor max graphite a good conductor a student write this term this is very useful it is directly asked why graphite is good conductor though diamond is not so it is the fourth free electron which makes graphite as good conductor conductor of heat and electricity this implies graphite conducts electricity conducts electricity though what is carbon metal or non metal there we had written about metal and non metal in non metal we had written carbon can conduct electricity so right though carbon is a non metal so this is the exception but carbon in graphite form only that we have to keep in mind though all the metal are good conductor because of the free electron that characteristic is satisfied for the graphite also so because of this good conductor it is used in carbon brush so for using this graphite in carbon brush there are two reason one is it is a good conductor so that the current can pass through the armature or the coil wrapped over the armature another one is while rubbing it will not scratch or not put a mark over the rotating shaft 
why it is self lubricating because of this layered form so right let us write this point wise two this is our three now let me write for the fourth point this planar structure are present in layered form so layered or layering of planar structure of planar structure it is because of the layer we are looking the pencil which is three dimensional so layering of planar structure to give three dimensional object now this layer can slip one over another so layering of planar structure which can can slip and detached means peeled off or removed and detached from one another one another layer without putting the scratch so it is used as lubricate so have lubrication property lubrication creation properties okay student so right considering property 3 and property 4 means these two properties collectively and property 4 not properties but rather property it is used in why making carbon brush used in making carbon brush making carbon brush ye puchta hai aapko physics mein bhi puchta hai it is very important so sometime ask in chemistry sometime also ask in physics in making carbon brush carbon brush in generators and motors generators and motors okay student so what are the use of this graphite let us enumerate it uses because of this it can also tolerate high temperature and it can conduct electricity it is also used as electrode in our dry cell so very first pencil for writing where this pencil can be used so pencil can be used in a space also but you cannot use your pen for writing in a space why the force of cohesion is reduced that we will learn in higher standard so very first use is the pencil the second one is our carbon brush carbon brush means in motors and generators motors and generators we have learned there is a slip ring and over this slip ring there is a spring loaded carbon brush so it is the carbon brush not the split ring many a time some kind of a ring or self lubricating these rings 
or bearings are also made so right the third one means if one of the say over this shaft i want to make a rotating mechanism without a scratching over this then which material i shall use if i am using the other iron it will put a scratch over this so for that the carbon bearings are used so in carbon bearing carb ball and bearing you are looking now so many a time ball are not allowed in many machineries there we are using the carbon bearings the same ball and bearing then the fourth and important one is our dry cell or electrodes in our dry cell not only in dry cell but also in which one cell for electrolysis we are using the electrode so there we can also use this carbon okay so that kind of cell or setup is called as electrolytic cell in electrolytic cells so these four are the important one there are many other uses you may use but these are the four what is the cause the cause is so why as electrode because it is a good conductor it can tolerate very high temperature so electrode ke liye the responsible factor is good conductor good conductor why good conductor again the free electron so many a time in option it may be given or it is used as electrode because option a graphite have free electrons b maintain very high or tolerate very high temperature c both d none of this a student it can also tolerate very high temperature so it will not melt okay so both the properties are used so rather than writing as good conductor sometimes free electron word is also used because it have very high melting and boiling point though it is lesser than graphite undoubtedly but reasonably very high it is nearly 2000 so therefore it can be used in metallurgy for making a pot in which the other material can be heated okay so that is the also very useful many a time in ntsc it is being asked so write down the fifth one as heating pot or utensil or vessel basically vessel vessels in industries not in house do not think you are going to use this graphite cooker no 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 because it is quite costlier and it have different properties okay now but it is useful in metallurgy where this utensil itself is sometimes acting as the reducing agent for generating the iron that we have also learned in our metal and non metal that this carbon is more reactive than your silver mercury even your iron okay though lesser than aluminium and other therefore this carbon can be used for reducing or extracting the iron so right there it is used as heating so as heating pot or vessel in metallurgy or in industries metallurgy is what the industry where these metals are extracted and converted into the useful metal means the ore are being processed to get the useful metal so as a heating vessel it is this one fourth fifth one the sixth one another important used as what reducing agent 
दो मोस्टली कोक आर यूजिंग बट इफ ग्रेफाइट इज अवेलेबल दैट इज द बेटर ऑप्शन देन कोक ओके और चारकोल सो यूज एज रिड्यूसिंग एजेंट रिड्यूसिंग एजेंट इन एक्सट्रैक्शन ऑफ वॉट आयरन बिकॉज दिस कार्बन इज एव दिस आयरन देन योर मरकर ए सिल्वर इट इज ए ओके सो वाई इट इज दैट एस इट इज एब in reactivity series this is asked again and again so this question is asked either in metal and non metal as well as in this chapter so right so as it means this it means it is the graphite or carbon okay now as it is above fe in reactivity series or activity series so these five are enough more than this nothing will be asked to you okay neither in ntsc nor in your academics these are very useful for ntsc when ntsc is again and again asking this means why it is the reason is asked why graphite can be used for extracting the iron but not the aluminium because graphite is carbon and carbon is more reactive than iron but less reactive than aluminium so displacement reaction can occur with the iron but no such displacement reaction with the aluminium get it so that's why it can reduce the iron so therefore it is acting as reducing as it another it is used for used as heating vessel in industry as it have high melting point means graphite have very high melting point you may also write that property so these are the uses let me write the property number the student Six at the top because in next page I want to use the diamond. So it have it means it is we are talking for the graphite. It have high higher melting point and boiling point is always higher than melting point. Obviously the boiling point will be very very high. So used as so used as heating vessel heating vessel it is this property why heating vessel because it have the free electron so it can conduct heat as well as the electricity so high melting point is one of the factor for choosing as heating vessel in extraction industry in metal extraction industry in metal extraction industries this thing we have to keep in so these are the six important properties that we have to keep in mind and we also have to keep in mind this structure everything i have explained now let me go for the next called diamond A student whatever if you have understood about the graphite then understanding the diamond is equally easy means all those factor for the graphite we have discussed all those factor we will consider for the diamond also so let me write the diamond A student we have learned chemically it is carbon no issues but their structure is different from the graphite and this structural difference 
gives entire different physical property. Here, each carbon atom, carbon atom of whom? Of diamond, basically, a student is linked or bonded with four other carbon atoms such that these four carbon atoms a student you just please understand say i have one thing i want to make four bonds and try to keep it at a longer distance let me take A students may see here one carbon have to be bonded with the four other because it have the four each carbon have valency four therefore these four valencies have to be or these four valence electron have to make four bond now how these four bonds can arrange do you think these four electrons just means stretch one over the another in a planar area then the gap between these bond will be maximum or the angle will be maximum if it is in the plane then what could be the maximum angle here it could be 90 degree only but the other way of arranging these four bonds what that other ways because of that alternate way of arranging in three dimension means a space rather than in a plane gives a special a structure called tetrahedral structure please un please understand i'm considering this is the carbon okay consider this point as the carbon now i want to make four bonds you try to arrange four sticks with this how you can arrange and you have to try to make this arrangement in such a way that one stick should be at maximum distance from the other how it could be one may think just he is going to attach like this say three and the fourth one is like this okay but at this time you are getting all if this is in the same plane means all are in the same plane in this case we will get they are apart each other but the gap remains as 90 degree and the distance means the other carbon a student observe this the other carbon will come at this end okay means at this end and at this end so if they are in the plane the distance between these two carbon will be lesser in comparison to if now i am going to arrange this in slightly different fashion see how i am going to arrange i am going to consider one bond like this okay another bond not in this plane but at certain angle like this another bond say like this are you getting this is the third one that i am going to attach here okay it is the third one so this way the three are attached one two three and let me attach the fourth one here in this case so these are the four means the other carbon atom have to come here other here other at this end and the fourth one at this end in this case we are observing these four bonds are not in one plane or the four new carbon atom will not in one plane rather they will be in this space now the gap between one carbon atom at this top and another at this top is more than when all of these were present in the same plane are we getting so this way the distance between the carbon atom is increased and these four bonds are get arranged in three dimensional space is in the space so such a structure where one at the top 
and three other are forming the leg of a tripod like a structure is called tetrahedral why tetrahedral how many surfaces are formed here a student you can observe one of the surface is this another this another third one is this and fourth one is this so total four planar surface are you getting one is starting with this start with the end one go to the other meet to the other means one triangle will be formed here at this okay another triangle at this means at the top this and this one the third triangle at this top this end and this end the fourth triangle with this one means the bottom one okay like this means tetra means four always so considering all these things we are going to write everything a student are you getting yes then you can ask i may explain once more so if planar then this implies leisure spacing between bonds and other carbon atoms and other sir yeah tell me i didn't understand it okay you just say i'm considering say four say let me draw the figure itself consider this this is one carbon atom it have to make a four bond you may think this is the plane of paper and you are making just four bond with this and attach the four carbon it is like this if you are attaching like this it means they are how they are they are like the square or just orient this you can get this it is like this it is the it is nothing but it is simply like a square where at each of the vertex say consider this carbon this carbon then this carbon if it is like this and at the center there is one two three and four it is like this one means for the central carbon i have considered the four bonds are formed similarly for this other carbon you if you are going to form the four bond then here you are getting that in this case for the corner carbon the three bonds are on one side and fourth will be the other side in this case the spacing between the bond will not be uniform or not be equal so as a result there will be a repulsion between these bonds and this structure will not be a stable so what is the alternative the alternative is that this central carbon should not be in this plane rather what shall happen central carbon or a carbon is say at any point then other carbon should exactly above this so mark this exactly above this the other carbon should not in this plane means they should not like this or this or this how they should be one of them should be inside this or rather two of them should be inside or you may consider one of them should be inside so for the inner one i may consider like this one of the carbon is inside this means inside the plane of paper let me draw that bond by diffuse one okay the other two carbon atom should be not in this plane but rather they should be outside for drawing them outside let me draw with the more solid line like this one here we have to keep in mind these three structure means like this bond this bond this bond it is forming the structure like tripod tripod you have seen now where one top is there and there are three legs and these three legs you are placing at different level okay so this is the your tripod so leave this connection so these are the three legs of the tripod and the fourth one is just above this so the 
surfaces form are how much surfaces form is one surface is considering this point this point this point only this one because it is at the center it is not in the plane of these three so therefore joining these three you will get one of the surface one of the surface is like this so it is one of the surface the other surface that will be formed you may consider the other one okay so consider the other one any three you may consider what it could be the other one you may consider the very first one then this one and this one means let me draw with the different color this one again are we getting so this is the other surface that we have drawn what could be the other the other could be the other three you just select this one this one this one and this one the other triangle it is this one so it is in other plane none of this means one plane only a triangle is formed so one triangle two triangle three triangles we have formed is there any other triangle which is left a student is there any other triangle which is left yes it is left what they are considering this observe it carefully students you can understand this this we have considered with the bottom one or down one but it is also possible to go like this and come like this this we have not made this one earlier we had made the first one with the orange color the second one with the yellow color the third one with the green color now considering this red color it is the fourth surface so there are four triangular surfaces means the four planes are there so write it here four triangular triangular surfaces means four planes so there are total four planar dimension it is formed so four planes in different orientation where in a plane of paper no none of them are in plane of paper okay so in a space like football if you are asked to draw the football how you are drawing still you are drawing it with a circle so whether it is a circle or whether it is a football so to differentiate that we are putting another circular ring here then we are saying yes it is a sphere in the similar fashion for drawing this three dimensional object or three dimensional structure in the plane of paper we are drawing like this and this structure is called your tetrahedral structure where the different atoms are present at different plane so it is this one it is this one ready it is like this one i think uh, whether i have a, have you seen the cone so it is something like that here a middle structure just wet if i have then i can show you
so let me search a pyramidal structure that i will show you please understand this carefully if you are not understanding you will never understand but once if you understand so this way i was explaining if i am drawing the planar structure it is not the correct way of drawing the planar structure or or this could not be the correct structure because the atoms or bonds always have the tendency to remain apart from each other as much as they can therefore this structure is wrong and it should be erased the correct structure is what the correct structure or drawing the correct structure is like this you have to take one of the carbon at the center then you have to draw one above it another inside this plane for that let me draw with the tilted one another not vertically downward but even outward so like this another is like this so this is the way of drawing A student how it it appears please observe now observe it carefully i am going to display the structure A student are you getting this are you getting my figure student or not yeah student yes sir ha huh. so it is like this so if you count this you are observing 1 2 3 4 and total five surfaces okay so tetrahedral it is not this one getting now how is this structure if you observe this one this figure or this shape observe this first you observe it carefully it is this one i am trying to display you where though it is not the regular one though this side is longer but it is possible that this tip should be smaller and all the surfaces should be equal here we are observing one of the face is triangular how much such a triangular is face one face two face and the third face so there is total three faces you can see one two and third one is totally hidden and the fourth one is here it is this one now i want to arrange the four bonds at maximum distance for that what i have to do i have to put one of the carbon at the center of this where is the center can it be the center of surface no student do not think it is the center of surface it is inside this means the inner region exactly at the center and in the inner one means not at the surface but on the center of this three dimensional structure which is inside which will not be visible there you just place one carbon okay just i have placed mark the spot so a spot is where inside this surface not on this surface also not on this surface but inside not on this surface but on the in but on the inside so that this point is equidistant from this three surface now so one carbon is placed at this center from that center you have to take a bond and you have to attach it to this end are we getting okay another with this one at this the other vertex or the other end like this one it is this one and where the third one is like this one so this way this carbon is attached to the three which was in or which is in one of the plane but still there is one more carbon which is hidden which is here so the center one will also get attached with the carbon at this hidden end as i had already explained the center carbon is not on this plane but it is inside this but these bonds are coming from the inner of this structure to this corner again to inner to other corner to this corner to this corner so this way a carbon atom at the center of this structure is attached with 1 2 3 and 4 four other carbon atom with the bond like this it is the solid one so i cannot display you but if you were here then i can temporarily arrange some sticks and i can show you how is that 
so you have to imagine so you have to imagine a bit so that one so by that way how to draw it for drawing it we are drawing these lines with the tilted one so it is drawn on your screen that say i am considering one of the carbon or the center carbon like this say with the orange one then with this one if the blue carbon at the top this is in the plane of this or just at the top of this the other carbon will be either at this end or this end or this end which will be the hidden one which will be inside this plane of your screen so other carbon will be like this one one will be inside you may draw like this it is the inner one the other two will be projected out of this screen at certain angle not vertically upward but at certain angle like this one is coming out next i will show you some animation if possible i will get that animation and i will show you so the other one will again like this one it will come out and attached with the other car the fourth one will again a different from this one it will also come out or in the different plane so this way we are able to see this lower one means lower three carbon they are forming like one of the plane i mean one of the tripod or end of the tripod so it is like this one and over this this is the top one so it is like this one but considering the possible surfaces how much surfaces are there for that you have to join the three ends only because this middle one or carbon at center will get high that will not form any plane or that will not come in any of the plane so it is like this one so student so for making so you have to try to make the possible triangles with this end carbon so what are the possible triangles one may think considering these two and considering this you may frame this blue triangle sorry this yellow triangle it is one one may think here forget the middle carbon that will not come on any of this plane that is one thing consider for the other carbon the other carbon let me draw these two carbon have joined this and this one this one this is the other triangle which is which can be formed so these are the triangular faces of this pyramid or this tetrahedral structure the other the other three at the end you have to select select the other one what you people can select you may select like this so we are able to select like this so let me assist are we getting this is the third is there any other one yes the top one we have not considered a student so select that one also means the top one this one is still i have not considered so this is the other triangle which is possible so these four faces what i was explaining what i was explaining student this bottom one triangle this i was trying to explain in this structure as this one are you getting it is this one so it is this one getting no this end one you may see like this getting it is the triangle exactly triangle okay it is the bottom one. now leaving this what the other triangle are there so just one triangle is this one let us make it over come for the other the other three triangles one is this triangle so make this triangle with this one you may make with this blue one itself this triangle it is one of this surface that we have framed 
so this is one the other triangle or other surface where we are getting the other you may search search for the other so this one is over come on the other side means consider the three the other one is like this one it is this one what we are formed we have formed there it is this one okay this is the second one but still we are left with one more what was that so that one is our so the other one is still this one the top with two which are below the middle carbon so it is like our this one are we getting so it is this one so this is the fourth surface so these are the four surface i am trying to explain to you people and this structure which is in three dimension is called as tetrahedral structure now is it okay i hope so so right so four triangular surfaces four plane in different orientation in a space so this three dimensional structure thus a 3d just we are writing this as the 3d rather than three dimension a 3d means three dimensional A structure, a structure or rather bonding, you can understand better, arises. Okay, which can give maximum separation between the bonds. So this three-dimensional structure which arises or formed is called as. tetrahedral structure tetrahedral structure so how is the structure a structure is tetrahedral why tetra tetra means four what is the four the four surfaces here we are getting the center carbon is not on the surface so center central carbon is not falling on any of the surface but it is at the center of the tetrahedral and the other four carbon are at the four vertices of the tetrahedral one vertice second vertice third vertice and fourth vertice which is hidden okay let me see okay so right one carbon at center of tetrahedral and the means the bonding one and the four carbon to which it is being attached is on the vertices of the tetrahedral and the four carbon with which it is attached so write it with which it means the central carbon with which the central carbon with which it attached lies on the four vertices of tetrahedral of tetrahedral 
सो वट इज दर स्ट्रक्चर इज योर टेट्राहेड्रल सो टेट्राहेड्रल इज अ थ्री डायमेंशनल स्ट्रक्चर और इट इज दर इन ए स्पेस नॉट इन अ प्लेन ओके दैट इज वन थिंग नाउ दीज फोर बॉन्ड्स मीन्स ऑल द फोर इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर यूज सो देर इज नो फ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन as a result it cannot conduct heat and electricity okay but this four tetrahedral structure or four surfaces which are in different orientation give rise to another important characteristic that we will learn in our physics in the chapter of light called a spectrum so these three or these four surfaces or this tetrahedral structure gives a unique property called a sparkle by which the diamond starts glowing because the light get splitted at different angles and the coming light from that structure gives a glow or shine or gives different color so therefore it is used as jewelry one thing since all the four electrons are bonded it cannot conduct electricity another it is a three dimensional and a strongly bonded atoms so it is very hard or rather it is the hardest naturally occurring material so those thing i am going to write a student here i had explained just one but in similar fashion you have to extend this structure for all other carbon how you will extend so let me extend one let me show you how to extend the other now i am coming to this carbon and extending this structure how it will get extended just understand one bond is already ready or already being made you have to make the three other bonds so that you need to show in different orientation none of them should be in the same plane so you keep in mind the plane of this bond is like this so please do not draw the other bond like this otherwise these two will come in the same plane this bond and this bond so that will not appear as the tetrahedral so for drawing in the plane figure you need to draw it in different orientations so that you are able to make three triangles say one with this another with this another with this one this 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 okay the central one get hidden another the this one sorry the another one is the bottom one you may consider here we are considering like this say the like this another one with the top one with this car again the four structure the tetrahedral for the next c so this way this structure continues to grow in a space okay so that we have to write or let me draw one more so it is this one. so here you have to just attach another carbon 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 the same you have to make for this carbon also or the other carbon so how the structure is the entire structure will appear like this so let me take that structure or whatever the structure we have taken in the beginning of this chapter the same it is our see a student carbon and compound before that what is the structure drawn a three dimensional structure so it is this one so let us draw that structure or let us copy that structure rather yes student that structure is here so let me copy this structure still am i clear or any student have any doubt a student this is the structure once again observe carefully a student here we are observing that you consider any of the carbon atom here this is representing one of the carbon atom a student this carbon atom is attached with 
how many other carbon atoms that you also have to understand see this is being attached with one of this carbon another this carbon these two carbon are not in the same plane but they are in different planes another this carbon another you are getting at the top this carbon here you are observing another carbon which is behind this means which is behind this means this carbon i am talking for this carbon but i have made red are you getting that this carbon is not attached with the carbon whatever we have marked it is in different plane it is inside this without attaching this be a cage like a structure is formed so that we have to understand so let me so let us just mark one of them one this one with this 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 one and this one these are the four now consider the other one come for the next one say this one this i am considering the attachment with the four other how is that one is already the attached one this one is over come to the other coming to the other it is the other one coming to the other the other one is this one where is the fourth fourth bond is not shown here it will be there but that will be inside so considering the next one if you consider the next one you will come further down with the attachment of this carbon like this one this one and let me take different color then you can understand how the cage is formed say a student this carbon attached with this one this one and this is being again attached with this one here what we are observing a cage cage like a structure see like this even below this this is also attached with the other one that is not shown here even if we are considering this inside this so a cage is formed so cage is formed but this cage is not like just connected at the outer one this is your the inner means three dimensional so sometime or most of the time cage structure is not or the word cage is not used for this so cage like a structure means just the hollow one of which the outer one have the wiring or connection but in but the inner one is the hollow that is called the cage that you have observed what is cage only the outer mesh inside that there is hollow so cage like a structure or cage structure is used for fluorine for fluorine so do not use here this cage like a structure though cages are formed but these cages are attached one to the another one to the another so better term is always the three dimensional pyramidal structure that is used okay a student so let me now write all the point so one carbon with four other carbon it is one thing or the point number 1 means no free electron this implies do not conduct electricity do not conduct heat and electricity electricity write down the third point how is the structure so a tetrahedral so three dimensional 3d tetrahedral structure because of three dimensional tetrahedral structure it is very hard or the hardest material and another important consequence of this three dimensional tetrahedral structure is diamond starts sparkling so this implies it gives the splitting of light when light fall over this any of the edge or the surface means it gives the spectrum 
and the light which will come out after the spectrum that will be very much bright and of different color so that is called your sparkle characteristic so it gives a sparkling so this white diamond is sparkle because of this tetrahedral structure so because of this sparkling characteristic it is where it can be used used in jewelries for making jewelries used in making jewelries yes making jewelries or directly you may write in jewelries okay very important characteristic it is one thing but this tetrahedral structure gives rise to this become very hard so it is hardest naturally occurring occurring material so hardest naturally occurring material even harder than the metals because of its hardest naturally occurring material it is used in cutting glasses that is used as cutting tools okay student it cannot conduct electricity that we have already written so these are the important thing sometimes surfaces are asked so how many plane surfaces or what are the surfaces of a crystal or just one structure of the diamond so single that is called as the lattice or the single cube or the single lattice or single unit rather have how many four triangular triangular surfaces these triangular surfaces have a common boundary and they have different orientation like here we are getting see this is one of the triangular surface the other triangular surface is here and this has this common boundary okay so each of the tri triangular surface have come common boundary so likewise here total four triangular surfaces okay so the four other carbon atom lies on the vertex of this triangle this i have already written here okay student so this was another important property that i had already explained why it is triangular or why tetrahedral how is the structure so this you also need to keep in mind now we may summarize and the central carbon is always at the center of that tetrahedral that will not be visible at any of the corner so let us write down the uses very first because of the hardest it is used as cutting tools since why harder one hardest what is the other one used in jewelry is because of its sparkling characteristic so right jewelry is since it sparkles it sparkles means the coming light appear to be as colorful and very charming this is sparkling is again because one of the unit is acting as a prism see if i am just considering this downward and just i am using this way plain this light is falling here coming out this so this is acting as the piece of prism so that we will learn in our next chapter of physics a sparkle as a small piece of prism
reason this is the question asked in physics also so that's why i have explained everything here so in this jewel these two are the most important another in a ring you are already knowing jewelries and rings i may use it here so this right on the seventh characteristic it a very very high melting point melting point even higher than graphite higher than it is nearly 3500 degrees so that you can imagine so higher than graphite okay student so these are the important characteristic of diamond that we have to keep in mind so these are enough for you people so question will be asked from this one i had explained all the property yes still any doubt then i may explain once more otherwise i will not take this topic on next day ha huh, student abhi to i think it is sufficient abhi bhi kisi ko doubt hai kya puchhi abhi bhi main aur bhi explain karta hu no doubt so can you scroll acha aapko scrolling chahiye aapko samajh mein aaya kya Sir. Okay, so now the last topic. Just I will take the two to four minute fluorine. By that way, we can end the allotropy. So I was thinking to start the catenation, but uh, I cannot start because of lack of time. Okay, tomorrow we will continue. So right about the fluorine. can i go on next page or is still you are writing done sir okay the third one is our means third allotrope of carbon is fullerene a student this was discovered by buckminster fluid he was the scientist sometime this is also asked discovered by buckminster fuller he was the scientist what he observed that certain number of only certain number number of carbon only certain number do not think it can be any number okay so only certain number of carbon are able to exist in the form of case or able to exist in the form of football cells outer cell okay so certain number of carbon atoms not any number and he observe that carbon with 60 atom with 60 atoms so certain number of carbon atom arranged in form of outer case in form of case or the outer boundary of football means inner one is hollow but the outer one or the cell of or as football directly let me write the football
this is f not the b student so foot ball okay so how the football look like you have observed there are patches of black and white black and white black hair white hair black hair white hair black hair white hair the inner one is the hollow so whatever these vertices or the vertex or pentagonal structure vertex that is formed at each of the vertex of one particular structure the carbon atom is there here also one carbon atom is attached with three other carbon atom means its property is more closer to graphite but so one carbon atom with three other carbon atom carbon atoms but it is not the planar one but not in a plane they are not in the same plane then how is that but they are not in the same plane so this three carbon atom while attaching with the three carbon atom one thing is they are not in the same plane another characteristic here they are not forming the hexagonal ring rather they are forming the pentagonal ring okay three with three car, other carbon atom in pentagonal ring pentagonal rings now these rings are also not in the plane that ring is also deformed or also curved one pentagonal ring in three dimension pentagonal you are getting the curve curve pentagon in space not in the plane okay so how that can be possible a student you can just understand like this the exact figure i will copy from your textbook so you just take one carbon you just attach with the five other two three four five it is like this one the student now the other carbon we also have to do the same thing for the other carbon attach this with the five other so we need to attach with the three one only so that care we have to take so this way we will continue to make this a structure it is like this one so pentagonal structure again this will form the pentagonal one two three is formed four and five so this pentagonal again this pentagonal will form okay student you may observe like this this now keep in mind all these are not in the same plane rather they have form a curve this curve will go on rotating and form a sphere okay so this curve will go on attaching and form this one so we are free to attach this will get curved inside so as a result lastly means inside this there will be some other carbon some other pentagonal parts will be there and that pentagonal will lastly attached with this pentagon or some of the carbon of this one also later on so this way a multi layer not a multi layer sorry 
a case like which is aspherical aspherical case is formed one two three four and one more is required here so this is the inner one getting you no know, means behind the blue the black layer is behind the blue and this this black one and this blue one will get attached with each other so therefore the correct structure is like this let me take it from our textbook see student our structure is like this so the entire structure is like this one are we getting i hope so students here we have to keep in mind one of the layer which is drawn in the dark one let me also highlight here you are getting this one this one this one this one this one then coming to this one this one then coming to this one this one this one this one this one so these are the outer one but they are attached with each other they will get attached with the inner one and they will get curved so as a result a spherical cell is formed so right a spherical shell is formed so this is the spherical cell so a spherical cell like football so only a specific number of carbon can exist in this spherical cell you cannot make this spherical cell with 10 carbon or say 20 carbon it is found that most common are carbon with 16 carbon atom carbon with 130 carbon with 140 are also found even 190 is also found okay but these two are most common i don't know how much is in your book so a student properties now coming to the properties what is the structure whether two dimensional or three dimensional so it also have 3d structure but this structure but not tetrahedral not tetrahedral so how is this 3d it is case or football shell structure these thing we have to keep in mind student these are very important thing only if any question will be asked from this then it will be this one. how is the structure can there be any one no a specific number of carbon that we have written here also so only a specific number of carbon will attach so here we have written certain number of carbon will attached one carbon will attach with how many other carbon three carbon so a structure matching with graphite and diamond neither with the graphite nor with the diamond okay diamond has three dimensional tetrahedral graphite has the ring with planar structure here it have the ring but three dimensional get it so entirely different properties so it is used ha boliye so in the figure it is hexagonal ha some are pentagonal some are hexagonal you are correct so not exactly only only pentagonal so some are there pentagonal some are there hexagonal where is that hexagonal i am not exactly getting yeah observe vivek you are saying if i am considering this one how many 1 2 3 4 5 structure even if i am considering the inner one 1 2 3 4 5 structure if i am considering this one 1 2 3 4 5 structure mostly they are always five structure ring sometimes three is six structure ring are also formed like in 130 six structure ring are also formed okay so that basically depends on which kind of cage is formed 
हाँ विवेक अभी आपको इसमें इसी में आपको सिक्स स्ट्रक्चर मिल रहा था क्या इफ आई एम कंसिडरिंग एनी वन अदर वन नो इट इज ऑलवेज फाइव स्ट्रक्चर ये फाइव स्ट्रक्चर वाले कॉब्ड है थोड़ा लेफ्ट में बताए ना देर आर फ्यू फ्यू ऑफ देम आर इन दी सिक्स स्ट्रक्चर ओनली फ्यू ऑफ देम आर इन दी सिक्स स्ट्रक्चर इफ यू वॉच इट केयरफुल यू मे गेट से इफ यू आर कंसिडरिंग लाइक दिस वन ऑब्जॉर्व दिस बट फाइव स्ट्रक्चर आर मैक्सिम सिक्स स्ट्रक्चर आर लेशर इन नंबर वाई दिस सिक्स स्ट्रक्चर वेर एवर मोल्डिंग इज रिक्वायर्ड समटाइम सिक्स स्ट्रक्चर इज ऑल्सो देयर let me search one yeah see this one if i am if i have selected correctly 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 structure is also there okay so it is both 5 and 6 you may write like this so slightly but if mostly ask five ring six ring or both then you mark the both otherwise if only 3 4 5 6 ring is written then you mark the five one okay With pentagonal and pentagonal ring add here and few hexagonals, hexagonal rings also, also. Okay, student, is it okay? Mostly they are pentagonal. Some of them are hexagonal. I think this much is enough. more than this nothing will be asked so for practical use of this fluorine is not a, not achieved till now abhi bhi iska koi zyada practical use like graphite and diamond ke jaisa hum iska zyada practical use abhi nahi ho pata hai it is still under the research phases where to use what could be the use so this was all about our allotropes a student today we have learned what is allotropes so this way we may summarize like this it is very important topic we have started with allotropes so what is allotrope definition i have given allotrope and allotropism and allotropes of carbon we have to learn it is like this one many a time sometime it is also asked is it only carbon which is showing the allotrope there are certain other element which are also showing the allotropes what they are So right, other elements showing allotropes. Allotropes. Just write the name. That is enough. First one is phosphorus. how the phosphorus phosphorus can exist in two form one is called as p4 and another one is p6 so structurally they are different okay how is the structure it is beyond to your scope so hexagonal with uh, sorry a square with one up and one down those are structure we will learn next year another one is the sulfur okay sulfur can also exist as s6 and orthorhombic and rhombic there are two kind of structure though the number of sulfur atom attached in both the case is the six but one is just planar another one is in the three dimensional okay so write down the s6 only as it is very very rare so if any other element is asked you have to keep in mind phosphorus and sulfur is it only carbon which is showing allotropism answer is no get it so various mcqs we have also covered so you please take the homework i think in your book you can do or in your book there is blue question blue question on page number let me stop it quickly the student this thing we have done you please read our textbook carefully everything i had explained in more detail we have to do this as the homework page number 61 
some of these uh, structure we have also done you please read uh, you please read up to this much i will explain isomerism next day but the structure now you can understand please do this as the homework please write the answer in your own words so these are the homework you have to write down the differences between graphite their uses carbon dioxide the structure of carbon dioxide this thing these are easy yes student tell me quickly when we shall keep our next class tomorrow are you people ready or not for tomorrow class or we shall